Hey guys, John Vaporhonic Technologies today. We wanted to go over a little mini series with you here on different types of abrasives. As we get questions every single day, people asking what abrasives can go in a wet cabinet, what abrasives cannot. And my answer has always been, if it can go into a dry cabinet, it can go into a wet cabinet, um, with the exception of walnut shells. Problem that people have is understanding how it can be used. And so understanding the different abrasive types, the hardnesses, the edge profiles, um, things like that, and how they have an effect on the different blasting processes is what people actually struggle with. Um, what you can possibly see in front of us here are about 11 abrasives that we have in different sizes. We only actually have six different types right here. So we have aluminum oxide, glass bead, garnet, ceramic beads, silica cords, and navaculite. Those are a couple of the, the ones right here that we commonly use. Uh, I think the biggest part in this industry so far is the misconception that wet blast is only a finishing process and it is so far beyond that um, and kind of a barrier that we've been breaking down as we go along here. Let's just rephrase, wet blast is not just a finishing process. It can do so many different things, coating removal, coating prep, um, post-processing of coating, smoothing of parts, so on and so forth. And so it has a million different applications. You just have to know which one of these different abrasives do the job. Follow along, stay tuned for the more content to come on abrasives, and we will be right back. Thanks for watching.